Hey, this is Sasha, and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Stocks, where I share with you my own insight from trading options to trading in the stock market based on my own past successes and failures. Now, in today's episode, what we're going to do is kind of take a look at making $100,000 a year with iron condors or basically looking at how much trades you would have to do on a month-to-month -month basis to be able to hit that hundred thousand dollars a year so that's what we're going to take a look at i'm going to show you a couple of different variations and examples and the whole reason behind this is because i've had a couple people ask me on the live chat hey how do i replace my full-time income my job uh, so, you know, taking some taxes into account, let's say you're averaging sixty to eighty thousand dollars a year on kind of an average job in the United States at the time. So looking at it this way, let's see some of the figures, the types of trades that we have to go and create to be able to make a hundred thousand dollars a year with just a trading iron condors. So that's what we're gonna do and uh, take a look at. Now, in order to get this, uh, example going uh, what I want to do is go ahead and look at a basic stock so to be able to make a hundred thousand dollars a year I'm gonna have to assume and estimate that you know you're making ten thousand dollars basically every single month in order to go ahead and ten months out of the year to make that hundred thousand dollars now in reality let's say ten thousand dollars a month to be able to make that well if you do it times 12 and you do it 12 in a row, now you're looking at $120,000 minus taxes. So might put you at around $100,000 depending on your tax bracket. So again, I don't want to get too technical on uh, the number side, but I do want to show you some general ideas and guidelines. So let's kind of aim for, you know, seven to 8,000 a month, which assumes you might have a couple months losing or breaking even uh, points. And then, again, it depends on also the stocks you trade, the market conditions, the volatility, many other factors. But to keep things simple, let's just take a look at, you know, around that $7,000 a month, which if you multiply that times, you know, 12 months, you should be able to kind of get around, uh, you know, $100,000. Now, again, if you go ahead and do trades that are maybe 30 days, you need to do uh, a little bit less of that. If you do 50 days, well, now all of a sudden, again, it's gonna cost you a little more. So looking at maybe about the, let's go the 30 day mark, let's just say we're gonna do 12 trades a year on Apple, and we go to around the 10% mark on the puts and 10% on the calls. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll go to sell an iron condor again i'm doing this on the weeklies right now just because it's a simple 30-day uh time frame now to be able to do the 10 percent we'll do the 170s and the 160s so that'll be the put side 170s and the 160s on the put and the call side about the 10 percent the 205s will be our starting point might be even the 200 but let's say the 205s uh, we'll sell those 205s Okay, and we'll buy for protection. Again, we wanna go 10 points out, so let's see if we can get the 215s. So that'll be kind of our iron condor right there. Now, right here, we're basically risking $917 to be able to make $83. So, you know, about eight, nine percent return. Now, let's bump this up. Let's continue to stack some more contracts and now if we get to about 16 contracts, we're using about $14,000 in capital. So let's take a look and see where our profit is around six or $7,000. Uh, so here we continue to just uh, move up some of these contracts. Okay. So it looks like I'll probably need to do about 84 five contracts or so to make um, $7,000 on this trade. Of course, you have commissions and expenses, so you might want to bump that up to about, let's say, 95. Um, that'll give you about $8,000 uh, if you let it run to expiration. Now, in order to make that, you have to put up about $87,000 in cash. Now, that's on regular margin. If you have portfolio margin, it's going to be a lot less. Uh, which is more advanced, of course. Uh, but in this case, and in this example, 
if you're looking to make seven thousand uh, dollars from the trade on a month-to-month -month basis to be able to hit your hundred thousand dollar target at the end of the year you're kind of looking at about eighty seven thousand dollars in cash so if you had about a a little bit more than that because remember you need to reserve some back for adjustments for some tweaks let's say you had about hundred and fifty two hundred thousand dollars in capital you could make about your hundred thousand dollars a year because you're looking at about seven thousand dollars a month seven thousand dollars a month let's say you only hit it about you know ten times uh, per year now you go ahead and make around uh, seventy thousand dollars or sixty five thousand dollars now this is with with kind of Apple uh, you know, I'm taking into account that I might lose two of the months or three of the months, uh, or I might not make as much. I get out early. So again, gives you a little bit of a guideline uh, where your thoughts and processes are now moving in your mind. It's probably a little bit different. Now you're thinking, okay, well, maybe I don't have that much capital, or how do I get that much capital? Or maybe I wouldn't trade this risky. Maybe you'd go wider. So if you would go wider, that means you need more cash because then you'd be playing safer. If you're saying, well, I wouldn't go that risk averse. Well, if you would bring these things in, let's say I bring uh, the 205s to the 195s and now I'll bring these 170s to the 185s. So now I'm at the 175s. So one, let's do 180 and 170. So if you bring it in a little tighter, well, you probably need a lot less cash now uh, because now you're looking to make $29,000 um, on $65,000 of capital. So you can see how the tables turn very quickly depending on your risk tolerance. So for me, my whole goal is just to show you an example that, hey, okay, this now is a starting point for you to start thinking, well, are you that risk averse or do you have more risk on the line that you want to uh, take on? Maybe these, this isn't the type of stock that you trade. Maybe you're more into, uh, let's just say the SPX. Well, with the SPX, it's much larger. So you might need to trade um, a lot less. So here, or maybe you go a longer duration. So let's say you only trade six or seven times a year, you know, going 40, 50 days out. So again, let's go to about the 10% mark. Um, we'll go to the 2560. So we'll sell an iron condor here. And 2560, I'll probably do this to do about 30, 40 point strikes here. Um, well, let's do 60 point strikes. And then here on the call side at the 10% area, you might go around, let's say 29.40, that'll be about 13%. 29.40 is the one we sell. 29.40 and the one we buy, let's just go, again, 60 points out. Let's just make it nice and balanced um, like the other side. And now what's gonna happen is okay I'm using five thousand dollars in cash to make eight hundred and twenty five dollars well how do I make a hundred thousand dollars well let's say in one trade how would I make a hundred thousand dollars well let's start stacking these and let's see look you don't have to be a rocket scientist just keep increasing the numbers here with 11 contracts you know I'm up about nine thousand in profits so how many do I need let's just go to a hundred contracts here and it'll give you an idea hundred contracts you'll be at uh, about $82,000. So go to about 820. Okay, now you're at uh, $99,000. So there you go, about 120 contracts throughout the year, uh, maybe make it about 150 for commissions and those kinds of things. 150 uh, contracts throughout the year that you would have to trade to be able to make $100,000 a year from trading the S&P at about 10% at this volatility. Again, volatility will shift and that kind of thing, so you need to be careful there. So remember, we are looking here at 123,000. If you wanna take into account taxes, some losses, that kind of stuff, that might put you down to $80,000 uh, after those kinds of things. But again, to trade this six times a year, if you're doing you know, 50 days out, 40 days out, uh, if you're doing it you know, five, six, seven times a year, depending on your time frame and when you see opportunities, well, you have to break this down into about six right so 150 contracts you got to trade that about 
uh, divide that by 6. So simple calculator, okay, 150 divided by 6. So you need to be doing about 25 contracts each time, or let's just say about 30 contracts, again, for costs. So you'll be making about $25,000. $25,000 times 4 would get you $100. $25,000 times 5 would get you $125,000. And again, taxes, expenses, uh, commissions, fees. So you can do the math, but again, gives you a little bit of an idea. Now, how much cash is that? Well, to be able to do this trade, to do 30 contracts here, you're looking at about $155,000 of margin. Now, again, if we're looking at having some in reserve, you probably want about 220, 250, maybe 280, 300,000 if you want to play a little bit more safe, um, some cash on the reserves. Now, if you are looking at your total portfolio, well, you might even have other investments in regular stocks um, that also are just something completely different. And in that case, you might have a portfolio of 500, 600, 800 thousand dollars, and you might only use 150 thousand of that for this, for this trading uh, itself. So maybe this gives you a little insight to what's possible with the capital you have. I'm not saying that this is the exact road or path that I would do because now you start stacking a lot of Vega in there. So you need to have some negative delta to compensate. So it's good to balance this out maybe with diagonals and double diagonals and calendars because just the negative Vega is so high. And of course, looking at what the volatility is, it's gonna change. So iron condors aren't always the answer every single time. Um, you might wanna do them a little different depending on market conditions, however, Maybe this is a starting point for you to thinking about your own trades. How much cash do you need to be able to make what you're trying to get to? How much cash and capital do you need? How many trades do you need to do to be able to make your living? Now, maybe you're not shooting for $100,000. Maybe you're shooting for $50,000 or maybe you're just shooting for $10,000 a year. But again, use this as a guide. Maybe you have a little more or less risk tolerance. So. It really all is up to you. There's a lot of variables involved. My goal is just to show you a little perspective so you can now fine tune things depending on your own personal situation. All right, so thank you so much for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this video. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the link right here or getting on our newsletter list so that way you get notified as I release new trainings, new books, courses, and other great material. Thanks again for sticking around and I'll see you next time.